thirteen hundred hours Pakistan Standard Time. Assalamu alaikum. This is Radio Pakistan, the news read by Ali Ahmed. First, the headlines. A meeting of federal cabinet is in progress with Prime Minister in the chair to discuss economic and latest coronavirus situation. Information Minister has turned recent martyrdom of nine Kashmiris by Indian occupation forces as extreme persecution. An American defense analyst says India is increasing the tension on line of control with Pakistan instead of taking steps for peace. Coronavirus has claimed 105 more lives during last 24 hours in the country, while 4,646 new cases have been reported. And now the news in detail. A meeting of federal cabinet chaired by Prime Minister Imran Khan is in progress in Islamabad. It is discussing overall political and economic situation of the country. Budgetary proposals for next fiscal year will also come under discussion. The meeting will also review the steps taken to stifle the spread of COVID-19 virus. Minister for Information and Broadcasting Shibli Faraz has said, The extremist face of India stands exposed before the world. In his tweet today, he said recent killing of nine innocent Kashmiri youth at the hands of Indian occupation forces in occupied Jammu and Kashmir is an extreme persecution. He said the use of pellet guns, tear gas, shells and other atrocities against the innocent Kashmiris raising voice for their democratic right speaks volume of Indian crimes against humanity. He said whilst the world is grappling with coronavirus, India, on the other hand, is trampling the basic human rights in the occupied territory. He said the world should take notice of the situation. Punjab Governor Chaudhry Mohammad Sarva says defense of Pakistan is in strong hands. In a statement in Lahore today, he termed that Indian threat of attack on Pakistan is madness of Modi. He said Amit Shah should remember the result of 27th February before threatening Pakistan. He said that under the dynamic leadership of Chief of Army Staff General Kamar Javed Bajwa, Pakistan will give a befitting reply of Indian aggression. An American defense analyst, Colonel Retired Wes Martin, has called for pressurizing Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi to end his aggressive actions along line of control in Jammu and Kashmir. In an article in International News Service, United Press International, Martin said Indian patrols have become more aggressive as if pushing for a hostile exchange of gunfire. He said instead of taking one step towards peace with Pakistan, Modi is increasing tension on the line of control with Pakistan. Indian Congress leader Rahul Gandhi has rejected Home Minister Amit Shah's claim that Modi government has successfully protected its borders. Amit Shah, while addressing a virtual public rally in Bihar, had boasted that surgical strikes in Uri, Baramulla was proof of India's solid defence policy. In a tweet, Rahul tagging Shah's statement said, Everyone knows what's the reality at the borders. 4,646 new coronavirus cases have surfaced in the country over the last 24 hours, taking the tally to 108,317. These include 40,819 in Punjab, 39,555 in Sindh, 14,006 in Khyber Pakhtunkhwa, 6,788 in Balochistan, 5,785 in Islamabad, 952 in Gilgit, Baltistan, and 412 in Azad, Kashmir. The death toll from the virus stands at 2,172, with 105 deaths reported over the last 24 hours. 35,018 patients have so far recovered from the disease. Meanwhile, coronavirus pandemic has claimed more than 408,794 lives across the world so far, with over 7.2 million confirmed cases. The United States tops the list with over 113,061 deaths, followed by Britain with 40,597 Brazil by 37,312 and Italy with 33,964 deaths. 
more than 3.53 million people have recovered from the infection. World Health Organization has called for efforts to contain the COVID-19 as new coronavirus cases had their biggest daily increase ever. Speaking at an online briefing, WHO Director General Tedros Adhanom Ghebreyesus said, more than six months into the pandemic, this is not the time for any country to take its foot off the pedal. Speaking on the occasion, WHO's top emergencies expert Dr. Mike Ryan urged the need to focus on to prevent their second peaks. Pakistan's cricket board has appointed test batsman and former captain Yunus Khan as national team batting coach for upcoming tour of England. According to Pakistan cricket board, wrist spinner and a veteran of 52 tests, Mushtaq Ahmed has been appointed as spin bowling coach and mentor for three test and three T20Is series, which will be played in August till September. Their pre-series and series details will be announced in the due course. And that is the end of the news. For more news and analysis, log on to our website radio.gov.pk and also watch the live video streaming of our bulletins on the link facebook.com slash radiopakistannewsofficial.